Hey guys, what's up? Big Armor here of KDA Outdoors. I'm out here today. I'm going to do a little bit of a broadhead test. Uh, I'm going to see which one has the deepest penetration out of these. The first one I will be shooting will be a dirt napper broadhead or dirt nap broadhead. It is a 100 grain broadhead. It has these little bleeder blades on it. And it shoots really good out of my obsession. So we'll try that one out. The second one will be a Schwacker Broadhead, just a regular two blade Schwacker. Now this is also a 100 grain Broadhead, and this is the one I didn't. And the third, and the third broad, and the third Broadhead I will be shooting is a Dead Ringer Freak Nasty Free Blade Broadhead, and it is also 100 grains. Second one I will be shooting is a Dead Ringer Hybrid Three Blade Broadhead. Also 100 grains. Have not shot neither one of the uh, dead rings out of my bow yet. And the last is a little cheap Walmart. You can get these for about $14, $15 a pack. And a little uh, Torrid SS's. Also 100 grains, and I have not shot this one out of my session yet. But hey, we'll get out and try these out and see what's not the deepest penetration. So, Alright guys, here we go. First shot. Now this is the dirt nap. Uh, fixed blade broadhead with the bleeder blades and I'm shooting you out of my session Evo with a 28 inch draw and I believe sitting right about 70 pounds. I'm shooting right here at 20 yards just to make it even. Alright guys, second broadhead would be the Schwacker Hunter Grain 2 blades. Now this is the one I've killed. These are the brawl heads I killed that doe with last year. So let's try this one out. Alright guys, third brawl head is the Dead Ringer. Freak Nasty, three blade, 100 grain. Try this one out. Alright guys, fourth broad head would be the Dead Ringer Hybrid 3 Blade 100 Grains. Alright guys, last broad head would be the Torrid SS. Like I said, these little cheap broad heads you can get at Walmart. Let's try these little suckers out. All right, that has got all that has got all four arrows, five arrows. I'm sorry, in the target. So let's go down there and see which one has the deepest penetration. All right, guys, you guys can see here all the broad heads and all the arrows going down straight down through here. So this one, I believe, is my first arrow. This one should be the dirt napper, which looks. Like it has the deepest penetration. So let's pull it out and see. Oh, yep. That is a dirt napper or dirt nap. So far, it looks like it has the deepest penetration in it. I didn't figure that one would penetrate that deep. Next one here would have been a schwacker. Now, I, I just love these here because I just love that. Had a decent penetration on that one. But this right here was the second deepest, and this was the Freak Nasty. This was a Freak Nasty from Dead Ranger. He had the second deepest penetration on it. Fourth broad head here would have been the Dead Ranger Hybrid 3 Blade. It's in it done pretty good, you know that may have bent the blade a little yeah, bent the blade a little bit here. Would you look at that? Bent the blade. Last one would have been the carbon SS. Let's dig in there. Look at there. Not too bad for a little Walmart broadhead. 
put a little stuff in there. So it didn't bend. The, it didn't bend the blades, guys. It just you see a little brown stuff in there. So yeah, all of them had really good penetration. Really good. Surprising, especially the carbon SS. All right, guys. So now what we're gonna do is, and this is my dog, Jax. He's a he's a daddy's boy. So yeah. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna take. The winner here, which was the dirt naps, we're gonna shoot it through that jug and see how they do, and see how the penetration is and the bleed, and the little bleeder it is. And then, if we're feeling lucky, shoot to the Electrical Principles book too. So yeah, guys, let's uh, stay tuned and uh, let's see what these things can do. Oh, well, guys, not too bad, but once it drains out. I'm going to uh, once it drains out I'm going to get a better shot on it. Well, look at that. This ain't too bad at all. And the front thing though straighty shank string too. So yeah. Let's try this again. Oh guys, that didn't do too bad. That didn't do too bad at all. Went straight through that book and wasn't too bad. Hey guys, wanted to update y'all uh, on this rampage barrel thing, which I did, which I, this is also in a little bit of a project video. Earlier, I had called this a hybrid, and it is not called the hybrid; it is called the dead ringer rampage so i just wanted to apologize about that but also this bra head this bra head here i originally thought they had bent this blade because it would not go back into its chamber and i could not see any dust back i couldn't see any dust or any residue up in there but when i got up in there put a flashlight in it there was a, a few little specks right there at the base of the blade so once i cleaned it out it fit right fit good and now I'm going to go back hunting. So again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe. God bless.